I like it. Oh, look at us looking like a bunch of little froggies. Remember, we're working on our short vowels. In third grade, we got the moves. Ready to learn great attitude. We are not on freckle. We're not on boom cards right now. You're on the wrong one. My computer just straight up crashed. Differentiation not apparent. If you look at my two screens, it would be apparent. If it's a full moon, we're gonna howl at the full moon, obviously. Happy Wednesday, we're officially halfway through the week. And today I'm just gonna show you a day in the life of a third grade teacher. So I'm going to get my little desk set up. I got a pretty gnarly setup that is not organized right now. So here I have my TE. We're gonna go over some vocabulary. I have our spelling list, high frequency words, and then the screen paper is for testing fluency. Then I have suffixes to remind me what we're working on and then my little schedule. Let's roll. Coffee, much needed coffee. Yes, I got it from Fast Trip. Don't judge me, it's coffee, okay? Here's a glimpse of my weekly slides. All right, so I'm about to log on with my kids, get today started. I'll set you up so you can watch a little bit. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning guys. You guys are so good at being on time. It makes me so happy. Oh, look at us looking like a bunch of little froggies. Good morning, class. Oh, here's all your hugs. Now, one last thing. I have grit. I am kind. I'm important. So, I need a whiteboard or a notebook. I'm going to go ahead and just do mine on a notebook and I will share my screen with you. I'm going to draw a line in between those. So, now we have one category there. Draw a line between these. There's another category in your columns. Remember, we're working on a our short vowels, so in this one we're gonna have E, in the middle we'll have O, and our last column is going to be U. Give me a thumbs up once you have that. In third grade we got the moves, ready to learn great attitude. We will do the right thing even when no one is looking cause it's cool. We will probably make mistakes too. But today is a great day to learn something new. Let's make today rock. And vow to be the very best you. We're moving on to math guys. And I want us to try something kind of new. We tried it yesterday, that class kick for the first time. Today we're gonna try it with our math. So I need you to go to class kick on Clever. It should open that right up and you just have to click go math 1.2. And it should take you to our assignments, okay? So you'll see go math 1.2, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're gonna walk through it together because I'm gonna show you how to put in text boxes and all that stuff, okay? Go for it. I'm gonna be trying to help you by looking on Go Guardian to see your screens. Uh, we are not on Freckle, my friend. Thank you. I just sent you the link. We're not on Boom Cards right now. You're on the wrong one. Okay, we might have to do this a different way still. So, I'm gonna go ahead and post this into Canvas. 
make sure it says class kick next to it. You will click this link and it'll take you straight there, okay? Good job. I see you're on your way. Class kick, that's the one you're doing. Okay, so go back to assignments. Cool, I see it nice and big on your screen. Go ahead and click that link. You're on the wrong one, babe. I'm gonna send you the link. What you doing, babe? I just sent you a tab. You need to refresh yours. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. You are on mute. No, you're on mute. You need to raise your hand. You need to use your computer. If it's not working, bring it in. Click the blue website. It'll take you there. Awesome. I just sent you one. We're not doing assignment one. We did assignment one yesterday. You're doing Go Math 1.2. Send in your way, bud. Okay. I've, I've sent you this link three times. Cool. Thank you. Go Math 1.2. Okay, I see yours is loading, but we're on the right track. Yours is loading. Okay, yours is loading, so it should work. How you doing? You guys need to pay attention to these directions. That's where all your homework is. You're on the wrong one, babe. I need you to stop coloring and go on this one. Yep, there's a lot of people that's taking forever to load. Maybe if you go inside. Okay, I just added it to Clever, so if you go to Clever and my owl, you should see the little brain, and it says Go Math 1.2. Click that if you are still having trouble. Yes, I know, I see a lot of your screens that are still loading. Click Go Math, click that little brain. What? Why do you think, babe? Yes. You're not scribbling all over the math, so erase that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start, so that way, once you do access it, you can do it. We are rounding to the nearest 10 or 100. When you round a number, you find a number that tells you about how much or about how many. Mia's baseball bat is 32 inches long. What is its length rounded to the nearest 10? I don't need to be exact. Okay, I could say about how long. I can draw on this. I click my pen, I click the color I want. I'm gonna use green. I see my number's 32. I'm putting it on the line. I'm seeing 32 is between hmm and hmm. You are welcome to use the pen to draw or you can type. If I wanna type on this text box with the T, if I click the text box and then click where I want it to be, it's gonna make a little box here like this. And then I'm ready to type. What numbers is 32 between? Well, not quite. If it's 32, you see how it starts with a three? That 30, I can't go lower than that. So what's three tens? I have 10, 20, thank you. So I'm gonna type in 30, plus I can see it right here. 32 is between 30 and 40. So I wrote my 30 there. I'm gonna make another text box. Click that T. I'm gonna see how big I want this box. I just click and drag. Now I'm gonna write 40. It's okay if it's not perfect. Now I need to ask myself, what is 32 closer to? Is it closer to 30 or closer to 40? You're not highlighting all over your paper. Thank you. It's closer to 30. So I'm gonna use this text box and write 30. It is closer to 30 than it is to what? What are you doing, babe? So 32 rounded to the nearest tenth is way closer to 30 than it is to 40. Okay, I'm gonna check your guys' pages, see how we're doing. Great job, I see you're there. Don't be afraid to use that text box, okay? Uh, awesome job, babe. Looks great. My computer just straight up crashed. In the middle of class. Babe, you can howl at the moon anytime you want. I am all for howling at the moon, especially if it's a full moon, okay? So you're gonna take your moon phases, you're gonna hold it up, and you're gonna see which one the moon is, draw a star next to it. If it's a full moon, we're gonna howl at the full moon, obviously. For homework tonight, you have your boom card with synonyms, and you have your math assignment on class kick. Remember, hit, click the little brain, and it'll also be on Canvas, all right? Okay, that's it for today. Bye, guys. Well, today was interesting to say the least. In the middle of class, 
Last 45 minutes, my computer just crashes. All the screens go black. I see the blue screen come up, that's like brrr, which is never good. So luckily I got on my phone on Zoom, logged in real quick, and my whole class was still there. In fact, it switched the host over to one of my kids. My kids was like, why was I in charge? I'm like, I don't know, but you did good. Thanks for keeping it afloat. You got this. We made it through. During our science lesson today, Generation Genius, love that website. We learned about the different moon phases and then we got to draw our moon phases. Today actually went pretty well. I feel like we got a lot done. I used Class Kick for the like official first time today. I tried it yesterday, but it was just kind of introducing it and we just did like the one assignment that automatically pops up, teaching them how to insert a text box and how to use the little pen to draw stuff like their favorite animal. Today though was actually like math. And so overall, I'm pretty happy. I love class kick. I want to be able to use it more often. I think it'll get better once we're using it like on the reg, but for now it is a process to get online as you can see. Today was a little better than yesterday, but my dilemma is I need everything to go through Canvas because my school district is requiring Canvas. So do I post them? in both knowing that Canvas isn't gonna work and telling my kids they have to go through Google Classroom, as long as the assignment is getting to me, I will grade it and put it in Canvas. And that's okay, right? I think so, and it's gonna have to be. So Class Cake also allows you to see all the kids work. So I've been using GoGuardian, which is a savior. I love it, I can see all my kids' screens. However, if they don't get into my Zoom through Clever, I believe, it won't show up. So that's kind of stressful because if I have kids that I need to help regularly and if they don't log in that way, it's like, dude, I don't even know how to help you right now. And telling them to log in a certain way, it just doesn't really work out that way. So I tend to put all of my things everywhere and just hope that they find it one way or another. They're on Canvas and their assignments. It's on Google Classroom. It's on Clever. It's just, just get on, just, just show up, get on, and then we'll figure it out. Go Guardian has been great. I can directly send links to some kids. So those kids that need extra help, I can just like doo -doo -doo, send a link and it just pops up. I can also close tabs on kids that decide it's a great idea to play cool math games or to watch YouTube videos. So just close that out and I can directly send a link to open up what we are doing. So I like that. And then I like knowing that assignments can be done in Class Kick and that way I can use either Go Guardian or Class Kick itself to check out how they're doing their work. In Class Kick, they can also raise their hand for help, raise their hand for me to check something. They can help each other out. Haven't got there yet, but excited to. <sighs> okay, I'm talking too much. I think I had too much coffee. Only one cup, but I normally don't finish my cup of coffee. All right, I'm gonna go eat lunch. <laughs> All right, so for lunch, me and my boyfriend meal prep, and so I've just been doing ground beef with veggies. To the untrained eye, it doesn't look that good, but it is super good. And I actually crave this. I look forward to eating this. And even when I think, oh, I don't really feel like that today. Once I heat it up and eat it, I'm like, mm, this is good. So give it a try, super cheap, simple to make and easy, which is what we love around here. Okay, so I'm a little frustrated. I just got an email from my principal because she did a random walkthrough on Monday. Okay, and we were on class kick. I was introducing it. So I was walking through the first assignment it gives us. So it just kind of shows how to use the tools, like how to find the text box, how to make a text box and type, how to use the drawing tool to find colors. It said, draw your favorite animal. And this is a tool we're going to use for future worksheets, assignments, classwork, all of that stuff. and just seeing the checklist, the same checklist that we use in class and we are not in class, you know, like objectives aren't posted clearly. Yeah, where where would they be that they can be read, okay? Differentiation, not apparent. If you look at my two screens, it would be apparent. You know, if it wasn't just getting onto Zoom, seeing what the kids are doing, that's one thing because that's the whole point, to make it look calm and cool and simple. Well, on my end, I got two or three computers going that I'm trying to differentiate by sending some links directly to kids, helping kids individually with one portion, showing them where a tool is. They are comfortable asking questions, even though it's not checked that they are, because they're clearly raising their hand to ask, Miss Blair, how do I find the pen? Miss Blair, how to make a text box? And I am helping all of them. And it's just so frustrating because if it was in class, you would see all of that. That would be apparent, but because 
it's just joining a Zoom meeting and you just see one screen, not what I'm doing on my end, it's not an accurate representation of what I'm doing. Because I'm doing a lot more than just on Zoom watching my kids draw an animal, okay? And if I'm going to be graded or judged on this, granted this was just a simple walkthrough, but it makes me really nervous because I have observations again this year. And I know my principal loves me. I know I'm sure things are gonna go great, but this stresses me out because this is not the same as in class, okay? And you can't judge that correctly or make a fair call about how I'm doing, how I'm teaching, if you are only seeing one of the three screens that I have and you are seeing the one that is supposed to look the less chaotic, that's supposed to look clean and simple and good to go. But I would rather you be in my classroom and stand behind me and watch everything that I'm doing while making it look simple and calm and collected. Okay, I don't like to go on these rants, but I feel like I had to let it out there because there's gonna be other teachers going through observations. There's gonna be other teachers that are dealing with these walkthroughs. And I want you to know that like, you are not the only one feeling and thinking this way. It is stressful and it, it's not an accurate representation of what you are doing as a teacher. You are doing great. You are doing awesome. Keep it up. Okay, gonna continue off my day. Guys, one of my old students logged into their cousin Zoom or just popped on screen, cause I guess he's in my class and said, hi. It took everything in me not to cry. Like, oh my goodness, this was one of my kids, man. So this kid, I had a couple teachers ask me like, oh, how's so-and-so doing? And I was like, he's doing great. He's awesome. He's hilarious. And it was like, what? And they looked all confused and I was confused. So I'm like, what's up? And like, I don't think we've ever heard a teacher say that about them. Broke my heart. This is the sweetest kid. Ugh, he's the same kid that when asked if I was married and I said no, he goes, so you don't have a soulmate? Love, I fell in love at that exact moment. He is so funny. So seeing that little face on my Zoom screen, the, the tears, the emotional strength it took for me not to go and cry. I'm probably gonna cry later. This is an emotional year, guys. Like everything is either making me cry, whether it's happy or sad, and I'm just all over the place dealing with it because that's 2020. But oh my goodness, my heart is made that I got to see him. <laughs> I wish I could see all my old students. Once this is lifted, I'm gonna track all of them down and give them hugs. Okay, okay, gotta go. Oh, but for today, I got this Daisy shirt from Shein. I like that it's more kind of blousey baby doll. Black Levi's from Target. And then my shoes, I don't really know where I got my shoes to be honest. And my waves managed to hold. I could have held it a little bit longer on these front pieces and it would have been a hundred times better. But tomorrow I'm just gonna throw some dry shampoo in it, go over it for like five minutes and then we will be good to go, my friends. I got it for between 20 and 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll put it in the description down below. Also on Instagram, you can find my Amazon favorites and find it there. Okay, I think that is it for today. It is, what time? It's about 3.30, so I'm going to get out of here on time, go to the gym, get a little workout in, and then head on home and relax. Thank you for watching a day in the life of a virtual third grade teacher. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.